Hey YouTube, Brian LCS. Thanks for stopping by the channel and this video, Miles Morales number nine review. So let's take a look at the creative team. Uh, we have Cody Ziegler writing uh, and we have a pair of uh, Federico's, uh, Ventini and Sabatini, who are the artists for this issue. So we're going to get into spoilers. So if you don't want to be spoiled, you might want to tune away uh, and come back after you have read this issue. So let's jump in. We pick up where we left off from last issue. Um, we have um, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and we have Starling, uh, who are battling the uh, Hobgoblin. Uh, and they are in a Beyond Corporation uh, warehouse. Uh, Hobgoblin was there to try to steal some tech. And we've got you know this battle going on. And the Goblin is really kind of taking it to Miles. Miles' spider sense is off and has been off for a little while. He's had a series of big battles, uh, rabble, carnage, uh, and he's really kind of out of sorts recently because he's been through so much. Uh, and so we see this battle continue between Miles and the Hobgoblin. Like I said, the Goblin is really kind of getting the better of Miles in this, um, in this battle. And then we cut to Starling, and she is trying to um, get back to Miles and lend a hand and we see this robot. So this robot is part of the Beyond Corporation tech. Uh, and this is his first appearance. <laughs> I don't know if that's important or not, but I did happen to read that this is his first appearance. And so Starling is trying to um, use the robot to help and figure out you know, how, to, how to end this situation. And then we cut back to the Hobgoblin and Miles battle. And we see Miles now wielding uh, this sword, uh, you know, we know he has a venom sting and an energy blast, uh, but now he uh, seems to be able to uh, turn that into an object that he can use in, um, in combat. So again, this is back and forth, you know, Hobgoblin kind of getting uh, the better of Miles, uh, but Miles is trying to hold his own, uh, and we see this big explosion and sends both uh, hero and villain flying. And then in comes uh, Starling and the robot. The robot is trying to assist in dealing with the Hobgoblin. Uh, and the Hobgoblin is there ultimately to try, like I said, to steal some tech and get out of there. And so um, there's just, like I said, this continuous back and forth, this fight between all three now. And, you know, both are really, every, everybody's kind of taking a beating within this, <laughs> you know, within this ba uh, battle. Uh, and we see... Uh, ultimately, that there's some uh, pumpkin bombs that uh, Hobgoblin throws and Miles webs them up, but his spider sense is off that Starling has to grab him and get him out of danger before the bombs explode. In that explosion, Hobgoblin uh, has gone, you know, missing and, you know, we see Miles kind of break down and start to cry and with everything that's been going on, his spider sense off, him not feeling right, and just the beating that he has taken um, from multiple different uh, villains over the last couple issues, he, he really just kind of breaks down. And um, Starling, who is his girlfriend, you know, is trying to console him. You, you, I think the thing you have to remember there is that Miles is still a teenager. He's dealing with a lot of stuff. He's dealing with how to be, become a, you know, a superhero and then all of the things that comes along with that. So um, I didn't think that was out of character, um, him you know, kind of having this breakdown uh, moment. Tiana, his girlfriend, Starling, is basically reminding him that, you know, he, he, he can talk to her and that, um, you know, he needs to get help. Maybe he needs to talk to somebody else. And we see some of this, um, you know, they mention that there's sirens coming in, police are there, and so they head off. And there they're on the rooftop and they're chatting. And, and again, she's just reinforcing with him that, he can talk to her or, you know, if need be, maybe go talk to somebody else. And then we see uh, later on that Hobgoblin has escaped and he did get um, some of the Beyond Corporation tech that he was um, wanting to. So then we see the big reveal here that he is actually being mind controlled and, and being working for Queen Goblin. And so Queen Goblin has resurfaced in the ASM storyline. So it looks like maybe we we're leading up to some type of you know, big event or something going on with the Queen Goblin. She's obviously working on some plan here. She's pulling strings with the Hobgoblin. And we do find out that this is 
uh, Roderick uh, Kingsley, um, the Hobgoblin, right? Because uh, Roderick was the last Hobgoblin uh, or iteration of Hobgoblin that we have, and, and we do see that it is uh, actually him. And then here is the preview for issue number 10. So what did I think? Overall, I thought this was a very good story. This has been one of the most consistent. I mean, we're only nine issues in, but from a, sto a storytelling perspective, an art perspective, this has been a really solid Spider-Man story. Uh, probably the best out of all of the other Peter Parker um, uh, books that are out there. Hats off to Cody Ziegler on his uh, writing effort here. Very, uh, very well done. You know, overall, I mean, I think the two big uh, takeaways here are that, you know, Miles is dealing with a lot of stuff. He has really taken, uh, you know, taken a beating and he really kind of needs to get himself together. His spider sense is off and he's got some new powers that are developing with his his energy, uh, his ener you know, his energy blast and now being able to be formed into, you know, weapons. And then the other big reveal is that, you know, it's Ro uh, Roderick Kingsley back as the Hobgoblin, but the Queen Goblin is pulling the string. So overall, this was a solid issue. Um, I'm going to go, I'll go four web heads out of five. Uh, very solid art storytelling and just really a straightforward story, right? We've had this battle between, you know, hero and villain and we get, um, a, you know, some reveal on, you know, who's pulling the strings with the Hobgoblin. And we know we, we're kind of left off with this cliffhanger of Miles um, still dealing with some issues and really needing to kind of get himself together and get his spider sense and, and you know, mind um, right. So we'll go four out of five. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this issue if you're reading it. If not, hopefully this uh, review will help you uh, save you a couple bucks and not having to pick it up, uh, this story up every month. But if there was a issue of Spider-Man to pick up, this is the issue. This has been the most consistent and fun storyline in the Spider-Man uh, universe right now. So, but yeah, see you down in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next issue.